Hey guys, welcome back to Homestead Seed. My name is Lisa. Today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you what I've been doing in my garden. Um, what we did is set up um, our fence around here, our electric uh, chicken netting. I'm actually not gonna put it onto the solar charger because I have that over there with my chickens and that's more important. Um, but now what we did is I set up some of this, um, this like a veil material is called tool and I just um, wrapped it around my fencing and I secured it with paper clips. It worked really well um, and it's holding down really good. I've had this up for about three or four days, I think. And I went ahead and put a bunch of my plants in. I have all of my melons and pumpkins and everything in here. And I have some zucchinis and some yellow squash. And over there I have all of my green beans there. So um, just a couple of the things were ready to come in. The tomatoes and peppers aren't quite ready. Um, I'm gonna put the cucumbers in later and I'll show you how I transplant my um, plants into the garden, just like these. Um, I had to do these pretty quickly one evening. It was about to storm and I had a certain window to get these in. So, so far this tool is working. Um, it looks like this one came off the paper clip, so I'll have to reattach that. And on the bottom, sometimes this netting would come up if the ground isn't perfectly level. So I took some of those metal landscape um, staples and I put those in to hold the bottom of the fencing in. All right, so I will do the cucumbers here in a little bit and I'll show you guys how I did that. And I also have something else I need to um, put in a bigger pot, my roselle, my Jamaican cranberry plant. So I'll go ahead and put those in a bigger pot. I'll show you how I do that too. All right, so this is the area where I like to start my seeds. So I have my roselle right here and I filled up three pots. I guess I need four pots, so I'll fill up one more pot. So it rained this morning, but normally you would want to water your seedling trays before you transplant them. And that will help keep this all together. So I use one of my kitchen knives, butter knives. I sacrificed it. It's kind of a little bit bent anyways. So this helps me release um, these plants out of these trays really super easily. So I'm just gonna make a little spot here in the middle of this pot. And I just slide my knife down the side and it kind of just brings all of it out together. It looks like it is falling apart still. But that's okay, I can keep it together. And just put it there and then just bring all of this around and you just wanna press it down. Not too much, but just enough to where it kind of will hold those the plant up straight. And I'll water it in and it'll be ready to go. Um, I'm not quite sure how big these are gonna get, but if they start getting too big for this pot, I have some bigger ones that I will move them into when needed. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these three transplanted into these pots and we'll be ready to go after we water them. All right, I got them all transplanted into these pots here and I put them on the side that gets more sun in the mornings. Um, with everything else and I wanted to show you I got these four tomato plants out of my paddock area they're um, volunteers so what I did is I just grabbed them really carefully dug all around their roots and put them in these pots and they've been doing great and these are all the the cherry black cherry tomato plants and I know that because that w was right where a volunteer was last year um, so I assumed that all right so here are the cucumbers that are going to be ready to go in the ground and I did my second round of seeds that um, when I did my count I was missing a few and needed to fill in some gaps here when I added in those um, extra rows, those four extra rows. So um, probably next week the tomatoes and peppers will be ready to go in the ground along with some onions. All right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my cucumbers in and I have 12 plants that I'm gonna put into eight holes. So about four of them I'll double up. Um, just cause I have them, I might as well use them. They, I won't use them anywhere else. So this is just compost right here on top. Uh, we do a no-till garden. We don't till this in, we just put the compost right on top. And then what I like to do is just use one of these hand tools and just loosen up the compost and whatever's underneath it, the grass and dirt and stuff, just so the roots have a place to grow. And then I just put a little handful 
just a little sprinkle of my potting soil mix. And I have my knife here and I already watered these in my cucumber trays. I'm just gonna put one in this hole, okay? So I just use my knife to slide down into the tray to pull my cucumber out. Look at all those roots, isn't that awesome? So then I kind of just make a little space in there. Then I get another handful of my potting mix and I just go all the way around in it and I just settle it all down in there. And that's it, and I just water it in. And that's how I transplant all of my, um, my plants and stuff that I grow in these little trays. So I start all of my stuff from seed and this is how I do it. All right, let me know how you guys transplant into your garden or if you prefer to buy your transplants or do you start from seed? Thanks for watching, you guys.